Hey everyone, this is Travis at Netscope. Today I'm going to be answering the question, what's the difference between a web filter, a secure web gateway, and a next generation secure web gateway? So I'll start out with the web filter, and it's exactly what it sounds like. User goes to destination out on the internet, web filter checks the URL, checks it against a category. It could be an allow list or a block list, and uh, makes determination like, should the user be allowed to go there, yes or no? And if they are, they go, and if not, they don't. Uh, pretty straightforward. A secure web gateway takes it a step further. Uh, the secure web gateway does the basic web filter functionality, but if the user is allowed to go to the destination, it could also do some content inspection uh, for things that are either being downloaded or uploaded, whether it's directly or indirectly. For instance, it could take a look at some uh, malicious JavaScript being pulled down to the user's browser and make a determination that I should stop that or a user takes a sensitive file and tries to upload it because it contains a bunch of first and last names, social security numbers, and addresses, and perform a block there. But what's happening is the internet's getting a little bit more complicated, where a user uh, can go to a destination, not only are they able to browse there, and are items being uploaded and downloaded, whether it's directly or indirectly, but there's lots of other activities that the user can perform. For instance, they can log in. They could create a folder. They could drop a bunch of files in the folder. They could share it out to their personal Gmail address. They could go into LinkedIn. They could send a message to a competitor. Uh, they could bypass URL filtering by going to Office 365, but logging in with their personal account. And so what a next generation secure web gateway does is it takes CASB-like features, which is inline API inspection, taking a look at the destination, checking the instance to see if it belongs to the company or not, and then doing inline API inspection of what the user is doing before making a determination on whether they should allow it or not. And then also provided a diff providing additional functionality aside from just blocking allowing, like say, coaching a user, about to make a bad decision out on the internet, maybe I should warn you before you do that or they wind up in some bad destination on the internet, maybe it automatically steers them to the appropriate destination, or they're about to do something with some risky data, and maybe I need them to do some step-up authentication with their identity provider. And so there's the difference between a web filter, secure web gateway, and next generation secure web gateway. Thanks.